so lost. I want to find the road to salvation, but I don't even know where to begin. What should I do? How do I get there? Hey, why are you crying? Because I'm lost and I can't find the way to salvation. You mustn't cry. It will be all right. I can help you. You can? I can. Sit up now and dry your tears. Come over here. What's your name? Dorothy. Well, let's see now, Dorothy. Yep, it's all right here in this book. This book is called the Bible, the best guide ever. It is? Most definitely. God has sent special messages of love through this book. In here, you can find any answer to any question you might have about life. It also tells how we can find salvation. Really? I want to know more of God's love and how to be safe. Come over here. Stop number one, repent, Romans 3.23. Okay, go down this road and do not take a detour. There will be three stops. Your first stop is right here at repent. Repent? Repent? What is that? Well, here is the answer in Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We all have done some pretty awful things and when we do it hurts God. Repenting is letting God know that we are sorry and asking him for forgiveness. I know I've done some pretty awful things. That's why I feel so lost. I want to repent right now. Dear God, I realize I am a sinner. I want to ask for your forgiveness. Please lead me on this journey to find salvation and help me to make wise choices. Take this special book to guide you and beware the tempter. He will try to discourage your search. The who? Hurry along now. Oh, and uh, take this walking stick in case you get tired. I'm off to find salvation. I'm off to find salvation. Oh, well, hello. Are you all right? Not really. I've been hurting like this all my life. I'm Lane. I'm Dorothy. And don't you worry a bit. You can have my walking stick to lean on. Are you okay? I'm looking for salvation. You can come with me and help me look if you like. Salvation is for everyone. Don't mind if I do. God's word says that the first thing we need to do is repent. Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we've all done bad things. And when we do, it hurts God. Repenting is letting God know we are, we are sorry and asking him to forgive us. And 1 John 1 verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just and will purify us from all unrighteousness. We need to tell God we are wrong and ask him to forgive us for all of our sins. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't want to hurt him. I'll repent right now. I wonder where we are now. I'm not sure, but let's ask that kid over there. Maybe she'll know something. I sure hope so. Hi, I'm Lane, and this is Dorothy. Who are you? Hi, I'm Orphan. Where your mother and father orphan? I have no parents. I'm here in the world all by myself. Not anymore, you're not. We'll be your family. And most important, you have a father in heaven who loves you very much. Wow, thank you so much. I've always dreamed of a day like this. That's not all. You can also come with us to find salvation. First, we need to, um, you need to repent, which means you say sorry to God for being a sinner and ask him to forgive you. I'd like to do that right now. Now we are looking for stop two. Have you seen it anywhere? Is this it? Yes. yes. Road to salvation, stop number two. Believe, John 3.16. I wonder what this means. Well, we have a special travel guide, the Bible, right here. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, for whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. I believe and accept what Jesus has done for me. I believe. I too believe and accept that Jesus has died for me so I could live with him forever. Dorothy, 
Is this the end of the road? Well, according to our special guide, we have one more stop. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Careful. Oh, please excuse me. It's just that I'm so hungry. And I'm so thirsty that we didn't see you. Oh my, we must do something about that. Dorothy, look over there. It looks like a small town diner up ahead. Let's go. Welcome to Life Cafe. What can I do for you? I'm Dorothy, and this is Lane. I also have two new friends here. This is Hungry, and this is Thirsty, and... Don't tell me. Let me guess. Hungry, you need a bite to eat. And Thirsty, you need a tall glass of cool water. Wow! How'd you guess? I've been working here for years. I know my customers. Follow me. I know my customers well enough to know that you are all looking for more than just a quick bite to eat and drink. I can give you something that will last so much more longer than earthly food and water. Really? God's word said that it is a blessing to be hungry and thirsty. Uh -huh. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Really? They shall be filled, well yes, they shall be filled spiritually. Jesus is the living water and the bread of life. Oh yes, we've been searching for salvation through Jesus. It's been quite a journey. On stop one, we repent of our sins. On stop two, we believe Jesus died to save us and give us eternal life. And now we are ready for a final stop, we, but we are not quite sure where or what it is. Well, my new friends, you have come to the right place. I can show you the way. Just go up from here and make a left. If <coughs> Stay on this road. There are no shortcuts to salvation, but it won't be much longer. If you ever run into any trouble, remember that Jesus is the living water and the bread of life. Jesus is the key to life's problems. His name is powerful. Be safe. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Well, hello. What do we have here? We are looking for the road to salvation. Have you seen it anywhere? Well, yes. You are on the road now. Hey, listen, if you follow me, I can get, get you to salvation much faster. I know a shortcut. This way is too hard and bumpy. My way is smooth and easy. Dorothy, remember what Tabitha from Life Cafe said? She said not to get off this road. Yeah, yeah we can't trust. Ha, huh. you're late. You're lame, and you're an orphan. You twins, hungry and thirsty. What are you doing here anyways? You don't deserve to be on this road. You're all sick, poor, and alone. Hey, you can't talk to my friends that way. None of us have the right to be here because we're all sinners. But we have repented, and Jesus has paid the price, and we believe and accept this invitation to salvation. Nonsense, you're all coming with me. Jesus, Jesus help us. Jesus, save us. Jesus, please. He's gone. Phew, that was a close call. That must have been the tempter someone told me about. He really looked like a bad guy. Look, just over the horizon. It looks like a rainbow. Let's go, it might be our final stop. 
Road to salvation. Stop number three, live. John 15, four. Psalms 82, three. John 14, one to three. Yes, yes, this is it. Hooray. Hooray. Yes, I couldn't believe it. We're finally here. Okay, everyone, we found the last stop, but I'm not quite sure what it means. I mean, aren't we living already? I think we should ask God in prayer how we should live. I'm so glad you're here. I want you to know that I've been with you on this journey all along. I will never leave you or forsake you. I'm happy you have chosen to repent from being sinful. I love you so much that I gave my only son, Jesus, to die for you. Thank you for believing and accepting his sacrifice. Now you must live, live in me, live for others, and you will live forever. Live in you? Live in me. Live in me, and I will live in you. A branch cannot produce any fruit by itself. It has to stay attached to the vine. In the same way, you cannot produce any fruit unless you live in me. Living in me means that we will do everything together. You will get to know me very well and love me like I love you. I will not leave you as orphans. I have come through. I am your father your heavenly father. I am so glad to know that I have a father who loves and who will walk with me through life's journey. Live for others. When you live for others, you are living for me. Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Feed the hungry, give water to the thirsty. Give clothes to the poor, visit the sick and the lonely. And most importantly, let them know how much I love them and that Jesus died for them, too. Dorothy, that's, that's what, what you did, did for us. us. But if we stay here helping and living for others, when will we get to be with you, my Lord? Don't be sad. Trust me. Right now, I'm preparing a special place with many rooms for you in heaven. It won't be long now, my children. I'll be here before you know it. I'm coming to take you with me so that we can live together forever. Share this good news with everyone you know. Live in me, live for others, and you will live forever. Live in me, live for others, and you will live forever. Live in me, live for others, live forever. Live in me, live for others, live forever. Live in me, live for others, live forever. Well, I guess we've come to the end of our road on our search for salvation. This has been such an exciting journey, but we are not quite done yet. That's right. We must tell the good news of salvation with others. You seeing what I'm seeing? Don't look now, but there's a large gathering of people right in front of us. Oh, joy, we must tell them. Remember, stop number one, repent. Stop number two, believe. And stop number three, live. Go on, tell them. Oh, well, hello, everybody. Do you know the road to salvation? It has three stops. Can you stand and say them with me? Come on, stand up. <laughs> Stop number one, repent. That's when you say sorry to Jesus for being a sinner. You can do that right now if you like. Stop number two, believe. We don't have to worry because God's plan to save us was sending his very own son, Jesus, to die on a cross for us. Do you believe and accept this free gift of salvation? This is wonderful. Now all you have to do is live. Live in me, live for others, live forever. Say it with me. Live in me, live for others, live forever. Live in me, live for others, live forever. Yes, that's right, you got it. Now it's your turn to go share the good news of salvation. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Bye. And Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. What a wonderful message that was. I have been truly blessed. What about you? The road to salvation is absolutely free. 
Sometimes we ask ourselves if we are really saved. Knowing the answers to these questions can truly be life-changing. So let's get out there and share. Share the good news of God with others. Tell them that Jesus has paid the price for our sins. Remember stop one, repent. Stop two, believe. And stop three, live. Live in me, live in others, and live forever. Our closing hymn is number 547, Be Thou My Vision. Please stand.